Yeah, so first year with a Trans Am team and you know, exceptional results and all our drivers did a great job. TCR, big step forward in performance. Uh, contender most weekends. Obviously it's a category that has different makes, have different strengths, That's but right. over the course of the year, we felt very competitive in the hunt to the very end for the championship. Yep. And then obviously the 5,000s, we, you know, Jimmy didn't win the championship, uh, put on a brave fight and yep. then progressed into supercars. Yep. Great story for him. That's right. And obviously Nathan's Nathan stepping up for the, the, the Tasman series. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Here we are at GRM. We've got Marcus here, obviously, myself. Gary couldn't make it, but we've got, uh, got his helmet sitting here to he's here uh, in spirit. be part of it. Yeah, he's, he's down in Tassie, Marcus. Yeah. He's down there, gone to, the, gone Beautiful to God's country. part of the huh? world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, he's earned his stripes, hasn't he? Like, That's right. Yeah, he's had a great life and business, yep. fantastic race team. Yep. He needs a bit of R&R. &R he does, sure. actually. And you do take for granted, like, he probably doesn't want me to say, but he's, what is he, 70, 77 now, 78 next year. Still gets about, you know, mm. gets to all the race meetings. That's right. Loves to see what's going on. He's probably... Um, having the young guys at the back, and, and particularly this year, you're coming on board, it was really enthusiasm and lifted, really yeah. got him going. So we've, hey, we've had a great year. I mean, as you just summarised, you know, um, hey, we run a lot of drivers, as you know. We, we do. Have, uh, you know, six in TCR, three in Trans Am, and S5000, sort of between two and five, mm. depending what round. Yeah. Um, and not that we like to necessarily, you know, pick out individuals, but probably Nathan Hearn's been the standout this year, I think, from a Jerem point of view, I think. Totally. You know, Again, the uh, Trans Am Championship and the, mm -hmm. that level's lifting every year. Obviously, yep. last year he did win it also, but you know that, that, the, the level of um, competition's really lifted. I yes. mean, Les yep. Small and these guys have brought it along and uh, yes. uh, he, he did a you know, faultless job throughout the year. And then to finish off the year to you know, get a clean sweep at uh, Gold Coast in yeah. the S5000s mm -hmm. and Adelaide put on a you know, good performance here, albeit at a, you know, a bit of a coming together with Joey in the last race, but to mm -hmm. win that... Um, you know, Tasman Trophy, there's some pretty famous names on that over the years. And, of course, you know, the, the level of competition isn't what it was when the Europeans used to come out, all, all of that. But still, to get his name alongside, you know, Jackie Stewart and these sort of guys right, on that trophy. That's right. um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Mm. Tasman Prize is a huge win. Uh, let's roll it back a little bit. Yep. I mean, GRM are probably the largest race team in the country for the amount of cars that we run at a national level. Yeah. So we're across S5000s, TCR and Trans Am. Yeah. We've been competitive in all the championships. Yeah. We've won some of them. Uh, Trans Am's obviously stand out. Our, our, our role out there for our first go at it from GRM perspective has been great. Uh, the Tasman series is another really fantastic one for Nathan. What a step up for him as a driver and as a person. Yeah. I think GRM again have yeah. groomed another driver into yeah. a pro yeah. and, and we look forward to seeing where he goes over time. That's right. We've got Jimmy Golding that's come back. That's right. You know, and got himself Kept a main himself game alive driver through again, 5, through the 5,000s. Yeah. Yeah, Fantastic right. year, yeah. really. Yeah, well, Nathan G started off, you talked us into sticking him in a sprint car down in Tassie. Yeah, I did, I, I think did. it was one of your cousin's cars or something, you know, I'm not sure whose car it was. No, no. We had a great, um, we had a great yeah. run down there at Tassie at the start of the year yeah. uh, with the Luttrells, wasn't it? It yeah. was with yeah. the Luttrells. Yeah, great family. Yeah, a great I job. Mean, yeah. With Nathan, yeah, a lot of young talent there. You can yeah. see it straight away, super fast in the car, yeah. but trying to make him a complete driver. So the plan was to get him driving in lots of different cars yeah. um, as much as we could, especially in the off season, just, just get him hungry and ready and just keep him turning laps. That's right. uh, and then we split him up a little bit in the, in the 5000s where we focus on the Trans Am Championship during the year yeah. and then we let him focus on the, uh, on the Tasman Series for 5000 later on. Won both championships. Yeah. Uh, fantastic guy working here in the shop. Yeah. Just another protege for, for GRM. Yeah, he's yeah, it. a good news story, but he's not yeah. the only one. No, no, I mean, we got a lot so we can of go from one, We can go from one end to the other. Like <laughs> Nathan being one of the youngest ones. Yep. And then we've got old Owen Kelly. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah, you like that when we say money? Old, <laughs> old Owen Kelly. And, uh, well, he's not that old. No. He's, he's younger than me. Oh, is he? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just calm down. Um, but, but he did a great job in Trans Am also this year. I mean, you yeah. know, very experienced race. I've been yeah. in the US, obviously, yeah. you know a bit of what he's done over the time. And That's a balance of that experience and youth that we've looking for in the Trans Am and we actually had that not just in the drivers but also yeah. in the crew. Yeah. You know, I was sort of shadowing yeah. you know the crew there just to make sure that they're staying on point but yeah. letting that the, the young yeah. mechanics and engineers come through and really shine. So you need that balance I think between you know young yeah. exuberance and raw That's talent right. And then that, that experience. And Owen's yeah. a fantastic driver yeah. and, and a lot of experience. Yeah, very competitive, which we love. Yeah, very competitive. That's, what, and we that's love what we need. And, yeah. you know, like people yeah. look at us from the outside, oh, look, yeah. GRM, you yeah. know, sort of dominated. But we had our internal struggles. That's right. I mean, we're trying to exactly. balance our drivers out and our crews yeah. out to try to just keep it all together. Because yeah. uh, when you run at the front and you, yeah. you, you all want to win, that's right. Um, you've got to manage that too. Yeah. And we're on the subject of Trans Am, obviously, Lockie Dalton, sort of um, yeah. uh, first year in. 
Another Tassie boy. Yep. Um, they, they can drive from Tasmania, Marcus, can't they? Yeah, hey? look, he didn't get any race wins, but no. uh, and he didn't finish uh, Rookie of the Year either, but yeah. he showed a lot of promise, yeah. and he had a lot of top fives, a lot of consistency. Yeah. Um, you, but you've got to be a complete product. Those Trans Ams are no joke. Yeah. I mean, they are serious cars yeah. to drive, very difficult cars to drive. Yeah. They move around a lot under the tyre, got a lot of power. Yeah. The suspension's, you know... Pretty, pretty simple, yeah. and so you don't have, you know, you've, you've got to push the cars past their limits to, to rag a lap time yeah. out of them. Yeah. And so I, I think Owen and, and Nathan are sort of exceptional to, to get the most out of their cars, especially on new tyre. Yeah. And uh, and uh, and Lockie was really learning his craft this year, and, yeah. you know, if he comes back again for us next year, we expect big things from him. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. And then if we go from uh, Trans Am, obviously you touched on TCR earlier there, but... Uh, Six guys running, yeah. uh, four Peugeots, two Renaults. Uh, the Renaults have been a battle here at Jerram. We've, yeah. Yeah. you know, we've really, we you know, done our bit with them, and and yeah. you know, it's probably been hard for Moff and first year Cody Garland, who came yes. straight out of the combine, who yes. was a last minute, yes, you know, add, put, add you know, yep. and uh, um, to those two, look, it, it is it is a battle and it is frustrating. Mm -hmm. The Peugeot guys, uh, you know, Coxie, Aaron Cameron. Dylan O'Keefe and little Benny Bargs. I mean, yep. all four of them had their moments throughout the year. Yep. Well, all of them were in the championship, really, until probably a round or two to go. Coxie was still in, in the final round, of course. So, v Very much so. Yeah. Like, TCR is a different beast. Yeah. And so it's my first experience with the category. Yeah. A great category, by the way. You've got... Remember when we first started? Yeah. You thought, I oh, don't no, what? I you did. weren't coming away then. Oh, isn't that it's amazing how it changes? I, I did, it's yeah. It. I've come full circle on those yeah. TCR cars. Yeah. You go, oh, it's just a fast shopping trolley. But yeah. really, when you get into it and you really start looking at it, yeah. they're great cars for drivers to learn their craft coming out of excels and so yep. forth and they can come through and drive a really nice nicely balanced yep. um, good handling race car at a high level yep. these cars are beautifully built a lot of yep. them are from european teams yep. and so the stuff underneath them is first class and they've got plenty of power they get a lot of power out of those small yep. engines yep. and so they're very nimble very sharp cars to drive so i've become a big fan of tcr yep. but what yep. i like about it the most is that you've got these different brands that have different strengths yeah, at different, different tracks, tracks yeah. and yeah. so you can't dominate no one mate can dominate, dominate. the year right. and even if one car does start getting away the yeah. the world regulations yeah. the bring, it bring it back in, yeah. into peg well it's so, interesting you see obviously dalberto won the championship mm. did a great job but it was consistency that consistency really won the championship he had some great speed at queensland raceway but that's probably right. apart from there that's right it was just consistency throughout the year yeah. and, that's and right. you know and for the younger drivers coming through in the last few years obviously mossett's won it will mm. brown's won it now dalberto's won it that's right um, you know, you've got Moff in it, Caruso's yeah. in it, um, Holdsworth's been in it. That's you know, right. It seems to be a, a way that these, you know, call it supercar co-drivers and even yes. main game drivers keep themselves sharp. That's right. Because they are, you know, you've got to be sharp to drive on these that, sort of cars. That, that's right. Yeah. But back to our GRM fleet, because yeah. that's yeah. what I'm focused on. That's right. I'm, I'm yeah. here to look after GRM. Yeah. Uh, we had a great year with the Peugeots. Yeah. We've really refined those cars. Yeah. feel like we're actually getting the most out of the, that package now yeah. and letting our drivers really get the job done on the track. And I yeah. think you, you could see that we just weren't consistent enough yeah. Uh, from a drive perspective and also a team rollout perspective during yeah. the year. Yeah. And we got beaten by, you know, a more consistent crew. Uh, next year, 2023, we're looking for our drivers to step up again. We've got a lot of raw speed. We won a lot of races, but we've just got to put the whole thing together. Yeah, and we right. did fall over ourselves, to be honest, at yeah. Bathurst for the last round of the yeah, year. Right. We were in contention to win the championship yeah, right. um, and, and we failed. Yeah. As a team, yeah, that's right. Uh, to get yeah. that done, but that's yeah. what racing is all about. Yeah. Nothing's certain, no, no. nothing's guaranteed. But what I do know is we've got we've got great cars with the Peugeots. We've got a great driver lineup, yeah. and yes, the Renaults were challenging, but yeah. we really did try to. We didn't quit on it. No, no. That's I right. mean, a, a lesser no. a lesser group would have said, yeah. "Oh, it's all too hard yeah. here." But we, we we persevered and we tried to get the most out of them. Yeah. Um, but you know, not all cars are equal, yeah. and um, and we just fell short on the Renault program. That's right. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah. S5000, you touched on it earlier. Obviously, the, the actual championship season finished at Darwin in the middle of the year. Yep. Um, it was a five-round championship. Jimmy Golding was runner-up. Joey Mawson mm. won it again, but Jimmy Golding, runner-up, showed some, you know, he, over the last couple of years, mm. um, it's really kept him sharp and going. And, the, mm. the, you know, the position at Premier mm. opened up for him to move in, and he's... He's really in the second half of the supercar mm. season. He's really mm. stood out, and something at GRM, as you know, mm. we're very proud when our drivers, mm. you know, do get those opportunities to move on. And, and that's yeah. right. Well, GRM are sort of wearing two hats on the S5000s. Yeah. You've yeah. developed the cars in house here, so there's a part of like improving the category. And I think we've made huge inroads on the drivability and the spectacle of what yeah. S5000 is, yeah. the push to pass and the handling changes, the tyre changes yeah. we've made. Yeah. Uh, on the competition side, so on our GRM, yeah. we were beaten by a better team, yeah. better driver. Um, but, you know, Jimmy yeah. showed a lot of class yeah. uh, during the championship fight, probably too many errors, yeah. um, probably overreaching yeah. um, from time to time on passes and things. Uh, but he stepped up and he's turned himself into a supercar driver again. So it, it shows you these cars are, yeah. are, are great tools to, to really refine 
you yeah. know, your craft. Uh, and so we, we wish Jimmy good luck yeah, with what he's doing on the supercar it. side. But then, you know, we've got, we've, we've fattened up our S5000s for the Trans Ams. We had a lot of cars that ran. Yeah. Uh, we had some rookie drivers, some experienced drivers. Yeah. Uh, really great to see the category coming alive. And also, too, the drivers are starting to smile. You yeah, know, they're really... Right. Drivers Enjoy. can make a difference in those cars, and yeah. you could see that at the uh, at the last race at Clipsal, yeah. um, Nathan Hearn, Aaron Cameron, the most aggressive, probably the, the most disciplined um, and experienced in those cars in, in the field, really took off, yeah. making passes, yeah. fastest laps, winning races. Yeah. Good to see. Right. I think that 2023 for S5000 yeah. here at JRM yeah. and across the whole series is going to be very exciting. Yeah, no, looking forward to that. And, yeah. and within our stable of drivers, we've, we've obviously spoken about them all, but a couple of international appearances this year. It's great when you see your drivers it is. Uh, go and race overseas. Um, Aaron obviously went to the FIA game. Yes. In, in France, yes, um, and then Nathan uh, got a call up to run into TA2 around in the States, and mm -hmm. that may develop even further in 2023. Who knows? But he, yes. he did a tremendous job when he went over there. But to, to see our drivers, look, I know in Australia the dream is for young guys coming through to get into the supercars. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about mm -hmm. here. But there are other things out there, and for those guys to make the most of those opportunities overseas, it's good to see. Yeah. Very much so, and it's actually uh, for JRM, mm -hmm. JRM perspective, that you don't hold these drivers back. No. Okay, if you want to go do extra races, go overseas, you know, we fully support you in your That's efforts. Right. Yeah. And the Nathan Hearn effort at, yeah. at, um, in Texas yeah. there at Road America, yeah. spectacular really. 50-odd yeah. yeah. uh, cars in the field. Yeah. Uh, a very different car. The Trans Am in America yeah. is not the same as here. Right, okay. And so he had to adapt his style, different tyre, different yeah. engine configurations, yeah. different downforce configurations. And he, you know, stripped out a top five straight away. Yeah. And Aaron, you know, what a, what a great gun he yeah. is and was able to go across to Europe yeah. and really hold his own there. Yeah. Um, looking forward to really seeing how our drivers line up against the internationals that come out, come out this, for, for the TCR World Series yeah, uh, right. later on in 2023. Right. So I, I think you'll be surprised about how competitive our category yeah. is against those guys. So we'll talk about 2023 and uh, we touched on Jordan Cox earlier, you know, a bit of a, um, over the years, Probably that famous, like that Bathurst and his little Suzuki yeah. Swift. He's come through with a front-wheel drive man. But you know what I'm keen to see? You know, yeah. I'd like to see. You listen, you listen here, Geordie? I want to see him in an S5000. Well, there you go. Wouldn't it be good he to see him? He would be exciting, wouldn't he? Do you reckon he can handle the rear-wheel drive? Yeah. I reckon he can. Because he's a driver, <laughs> isn't he? Hey? Well, Jordan's got a lot of show in him uh, and, and, and a lot of flair, and you see yeah. that in his driving style. Yeah. And he just loves a dogfight. I yeah. mean, you can just tell he just loves yeah. a battle. Yeah. He loves coming from the back of the field through the pack. Yeah. Uh, he's great on starts. Uh, he would be exciting in an S5000, but he's a raw talent, a real talent for yeah. us, and, and I, he's one of my favourites. I yeah. mean, I've made yeah. it pretty obvious that you know, he, he drove fast all year in the TCR series, uh, and he's just got a lot of flair, a lot of pizzazz, and he really thinks about his racing all the time. Yeah. He's one of those guys who will send you a text at 10 o'clock at night yeah. you know, with a photo or an idea, yeah. and they're the kind of drivers that you want in your team. That's right. Yeah, yeah. well, we've got, uh, we've got a lot of drivers that look after, Mark, so you've done a great job throughout the year, and yeah, well. have a happy and safe Christmas. <laughs> Thank and, you. Uh, uh, really, to all our people out there that follow JRM, thanks for the support. Um, we love going motor racing. We, we, we love to see our fans at the track, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in 2023. 2023 it is. Good stuff.